Hey, how you doing? I'm Greg Fox with Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. And today I'm going to give you the top five reasons your air conditioner should have locking safety caps on the access ports. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to get your official Fox Family merch on teespring.com down below this video. If you've ever wanted Fox Family swag, here's your chance to wear the same stuff we wear out in the field. Now, when I started my career in HVAC in 2010, locking safety caps were already required by the International Mechanical Code. The International Mechanical Code is something all 50 states have adopted as their rule for installation of air conditioning systems. However, HVAC companies were slow to adopt this rule, most likely because it was just another thing that they had to pay for to complete their services for you, the homeowner. So today I wanted to give you the top five reasons you need locking caps on your air conditioner. In 2009, the International Mechanical Code adopted the code 1011.10, .10, which says refrigerant circuit access ports, which carries the refrigerant to and from your outdoor AC and your indoor cold coil, shall be fitted with locking type tamper resistant caps or shall otherwise be secured to prevent unauthorized access. Later on in the chapter, it says in 1012.3, the same refrigerant circuit access ports shall be protected in accordance with 1011.10 .10 whenever refrigerant is added to or removed from an air conditioning system. So this means even on service calls where we're just adding refrigerant to your system, those locking caps still have to go on there. Here's five more reasons why we as homeowners should follow this rule. And no single reason given here is more important than the other. So pay close attention to all of them because they could affect someone you love. So the first one is to prevent someone from deliberately inhaling the refrigerant to get high. It's called huffing and it seems to be some sort of game or addiction to obtain a certain feeling in their body and mind. According to the National Inhalant Prevention Coalition and the Alliance for Consumer Education's Inhalant Abuse Prevention, huffing can cause someone to suffer cardiac arrest and die whenever they inhale the first or the 100th time. There are several videos online about this too, so this has been happening for a while. With the cost of R22 skyrocketing over the last few years because of supply and demand, the second reason we should be putting these locking caps on your air conditioner is to prevent drug users from stealing your refrigerant. I know this sounds weird, but drug users can make a quick buck by stealing it and selling it to someone locally. This enables them to continue their habits on your dime, because now you're going to have to pay top dollar to have that AC refrigerant charged. At the current price of $100 to $200 per pound, that's going to get expensive real quick. And number three is, AC refrigerant is poisonous and poison has to be kept away from children. Nobody thinks that something bad's gonna happen until it does. Just doing your part to protect the lives of children can do a world of good. These locking caps are tamper resistant, so instead of being able to unscrew the normal caps off the access ports, these locking caps will just keep spinning and spinning until someone loses interest in whatever it is they were trying to do. And number four is R22 is an ozone depleting substance, which the EPA has deemed a controlled substance. There's chlorine in R22, and when that gets into the air, it burns a hole right through the ozone layer. We should all be trying to do our part in preventing anyone besides a licensed HVAC technician access to your refrigerant. HVAC techs have to add and recover refrigerant in a manner that minimizes refrigerant loss to the atmosphere. The EPA even makes us carry around a card proving that we're allowed to do this. So maybe next time your HVAC technician or handyman comes to service your AC, Ask them to see their EPA 608 card. And the fifth reason to have the locking caps on your AC is to protect you. Protecting yourself from liability in this day and age is crucial, not just in California either. Everyday business owners, HVAC company owners, and yes, even regular homeowners could face negligence charges by not protecting society from the dangers of air conditioning refrigerant. I think this is one of those topics that we should be proactive about. As homeowners, let's not wait until something happens on your property before we say, oh, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and put those locking caps on the AC now. And HVAC company owners, every time your technicians add or remove refrigerant, it's your responsibility to replace those old twist-off caps with locking caps. 
This doesn't have to be another great selling opportunity for you either. They're just locking caps. And yes, they cost about $350 for a pack of 50 of them, but this is just another opportunity for us to protect ourselves from liability. Charging a reasonable price to cover your costs is really all we as HVAC owners should be doing here. At Fox Family, we use no vent locking caps. They're color coded green for R22 and red for R410 refrigerant. Each color has their own specific key too, so I always have to carry the red and the green keys with me in my tool bag. There are also silver locking caps that are universal. Either way, a special key is required to place them on or to remove them from the access ports on your air conditioner. We usually buy these no vent locking caps and keys at HVAC supply stores around town. And these stores really try their best to restrict purchases of HVAC tools like these to just anyone. But in a pinch, I have found that they're pretty easy for anyone to buy online. So even if someone was to be successful getting past your AAC locking caps, you've done your due diligence by adhering to the International Mechanical Code. And I would say that you'd be protected because you were trying to do your best to protect society from gaining access to your AC's refrigerant. You might say, well, my AC is a package unit up on the roof. These units are still required to have locking caps on them unless you have like some sort of locked area in closing the system in to prevent anyone from tampering with the equipment. People can still get on your roof and steal your AC if they really want to. I have a video about this too. Just a few months after we installed a brand new system on a rooftop in Sacramento, the copper coils were stolen right out of the system. I'll leave the link to the video at the end of this so that you can see it, but reports from neighbors said that they saw a guy messing with something up there and all of a sudden they just saw this big spray of white something coming from the unit. That was the copper refrigerant lines that he simply cut and removed from the system and the refrigerant just sprayed into the atmosphere. If someone really wants your system, they can take it. But adding locking safety caps to your AC system will help to prevent access to the system. And that's really all you can do. Well, I hope this has helped explain what locking safety caps are and why you need them on your system. Once again, let's be proactive about this and not reactive. Protect your friends and family and get these locking caps on your system as soon as possible. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to get your official Fox Family merch on teespring.com down below this video. If you've ever wanted to wear Fox Family swag, here's your chance to wear the same stuff we wear out in the field. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.